Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am at Waterfest 25, here between the DKM booth. If you guys know, I was at that booth last year, and also at the Rova Motor Oil booth for this year. Um, it's kind of ironic that they're right next to each other. God has weird ways of making things work. If you guys watch my Instagram, this is after the fact. Obviously, if you, you're you not gonna see that on Instagram no more, but um, I put out something. I wanted to do a little install for you guys at the show so you can see how I film, how I operate, and everything else. So, as you guys know, we did the pin alloy Car of carbon fiber mirror cap covers for the Mark 7 MQB uh, platform. They're cool, they're nice, but they actually sent me some new stuff. Um, I don't know if they're for sale yet, uh, but he sent them to me. He's like, hey, yo, do you like these? I said, these look fire. Nobody's got them. So come on in, I'm gonna show you what it is right now. All right, so we're gonna change these out for these bad boys right here. So this is the forged carbon. So have you ever seen like a Lamborghini um, Huracan in their engine bay, they have this in like a matte finish. So now this is in a gloss finish right here. I think it's different, it's a little bit more subtle. And obviously, we're gonna put a protective coating on this when we get back home, but we're at the show right now, so we're gonna do the install for you guys. Now, if you guys don't, now I'm not gonna be doing a full DIY on this. I will put stuff, I will post this up in the video and the description up in the below. If you wanna see the full install, when I installed these on and took my stock ones off, also, the cool thing about this is that I'm just going to do pretty much like a quick step, step by step of what to do, because this is not the only thing we're going to be installing. We're actually going to be installing this right here. Now, most of you guys have heard of DynaBlink. I think that's what the main manufacturer of this is um, that makes these. But we got the, I opened one of these. I'm trying to find the one I opened, which is right here. But we're going to have the dynamic turn signals on the mirror. So instead of that, they're going to be black now. And then we will also have we will also have the new carbon fiber caps to match. So, without further ado, let's get in this install right now. I'm gonna try something a little different here. So these are the heating elements for the mirrors. Your red goes on the outside, the blue one, and the black one goes on the inside. Be careful when you wiggle these out. They may not want to come out. And be careful when you take this mirror out because you could potentially crack it. So the way I did is I popped off the top first. Then I popped off the top here on the side. Then I try to lift up from the bottom. I try to pull out very little by little. And then they're all just held in all by clips. Um, so if I can't get this completely off, which I don't think I can because it looks pretty corroded. New York City stuff right here. So it's a little difficult. Do not pull on the wire. Pull on the terminal itself and wiggle it. It is don't look like it won't come out. So you don't want to leave your mirror hanging like that because it hits against the car. So a little trick that I will do, watch that mirror fall too. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the car. I'm just gonna keep it here for a second. I can keep it, you can keep it tucked like that. Or well, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Oh, I thought it was longer than that. <laughs> so apparently, we won't be able to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have it sit right here. I'm gonna try to pull that as much as I can back. That'll be fine, I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. So, but now what we're gonna do is, like I told you guys before, most people go ahead and they try to um, pull off the mirror caps with this whole assembly here. You can do that, however you do risk the potential of breaking the clips. So there is two, I believe this looks like a T15 or a T10 Torx bit. There's two screws right in here. You just go ahead and pop those out. And shout out to the, the company that gives these because they provide the tool too. I have it in my trunk, but I have to dig in all the way to the bottom of my trunk to get to my tools. So technically, this is all you should need to get everything out. And then the cool thing is on the other side, if you don't want to use metal, if you don't want to scratch your stuff, they have a plastic bit here too, so you can actually still use this, which is kind of cool, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use them torch bits though. So. And you have the potential of losing them, and then if you lose them, you really won't be able to make this as fully tight as you want it. So as you can see, you hear the assembly loosening up already and everything it doesn't break apart but it's like it literally this holds the foundation of the skeleton the plastic skeleton on the exterior together all right so i'm just going to put these in a safe place on the ground right there 
along with the tools so I remember where they're at. And now we should be able to break this all apart. Another thing I can do too. Also, there's two tabs up here. If you want to start getting this loose, you can just pull those down and pull back. That's that one. And the second one's back here. So you might need a flathead screwdriver, which I'm about to go grab. Uh, actually, I don't even need that. I don't even need that. Go ahead. So there's those two tabs on the top here, there's one in here, and there's also one up here. You just pull them down, and your old mirror caps slide out. Now all you would have to do in this place is pop in the new mirror caps and that's it. But we're doing a little twist on it today. So these will be for sale if anyone is interested in buying them. DM me on JR14YT if you do want these carbon fiber mirror cap covers. They've been on the car for about eight months, eight months, less than a year. And uh, yeah, so I have no need for them anymore. They're just gonna be sitting collecting dust. So if you do want them, DM me. All right, so now you have this. So now, the only thing that's left is one. This is dumb easy, that's why I love this, come here. So you have these two screws used by the same screwdriver. You don't have to multiple, no, that, that, you don't have to get different tools or nothing. These two T15s right here, or two uh, T10s. Take those out, you unplug that light, you plug the new light in. Pop the new mirror cap cover on, you tighten those back up, you put everything back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Come on, the You're gonna put those in the box on that side. Then this light should just lift up. Well, they clipped it up. This comes right out. Now remember, you, dis you disassembled that screw, so everything is coming apart here. Now we gotta do after that. Let's pull this tab. So all you gotta do is take out the two T10s from the top, pull up, and this whole turn signal thing comes out. There's one plug here, you literally just, you have to wedge your finger in between this, but you get your fingernail in there, push down, pull out. And now all you gotta do is pop the new ones in. I told Greg this is gonna be easy, the guy that's holding the camera right now, I told him it was gonna be easy. He's like, I don't wanna work on the car in this heat, but it's fine. So we gonna go ahead, we gonna swap this out. So this is not for this side. I gotta open up the other one. So the cool thing about these, and then I'll talk more about it at the end, they're not $180, they're not $100. Uh, I'm hungry, I need breakfast. Put that clip in here like, bite it! Bite it like a monkey, ah! Bite that thing! Bite it! Bite it like a little monkey, go bite it! Hey, go. yank it! Use them tiger teeth! Ah! Grab it, pull on it! You almost got it, that's it, ah! The two, you see that this one's a clear, this one's just a clear lens. There's LEDs in long in this, and it's just a reflector. So at night, and during the daytime, you really can't see like the full effect of the LED because of the fact it's so bright already. Uh, at night, it does illuminate the whole thing, but these joints right here are because of R32 though. All right, so these are pretty cool because of the fact they have Cree LEDs. They have Cree LEDs built into it. And actually, it's actually just pushing out. Um, they're pushing out, so there's no reflection and get the full light. You do, you will definitely get the full light right here. So the stage for your final qualifying run. Imagine if they didn't plug in. Yeah. Get ready. Actually, before I even do that, let me see if they work. So as you guys can see here, so this was just something I wanted to tell you about. I'm trying to fight the commentary, so just bear with me. These are actually only 43 bucks. 
So I got them on Amazon. They're actually full dynamic. They go all the way to the edge. They're Cree LEDs. It's pretty cool. And they actually fit really nicely to the stock OEM thing. So all we got to do now is assemble, push everything back together, get everything squared away, and then put the new mirror cap covers on, and that's going to conclude the video. So let's check it out. is open in the back of the pits, right by the VP Race Fuel sign. If any racers out there need race supplies, outlaw cars, or outlaw drivers suited in your cars, please. Outlaw drivers suited. And in your cars, please. Tighten them back up. I like that. Oh, it's <laughs> Boom. Put it nice and tight. Plug back in. Make sure you tuck this wire inside because your mirror. Make sure you tuck this wire inside here because the mirror has to sit along this edge. You don't want to snag that. There we go. Connect it in here first. Get them clipped in on the top first. I forgot there's another part. These right here, they have to. Got it right the first time. Sweet. Perfect. We're all flush in here. We're all flush around the casing here. That's it. So now we could put them T10s in. Oh, that was so easy. Thank God I'm at a show. People watching me a little bit. Some of my people are like coming and going. It's still early in the morning and it's already 95 degrees. So you could literally do this in a few minutes. It's not that bad. It's not that hard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get those screws for you. One day, one day, when I got another car and if this breaks, I could do that all the time and not worry about it. That's why you never seen that on the channel with the two-step, because that, that breaks car that breaks car parts if you ain't got the right parts on it. <laughs> That sounds like USP Motorsports S4. That's definitely their S4. Can't take this one off for some reason because it's corroded, but I'm gonna take this one and put it back in place here. Thanks to New York weather, you know. We can't have nothing nice. Cool. And then we're just gonna pop this mug back in place. This, you want to tension against this right here. So just go ahead, do that, and just push evenly. Like that. Make sure it's nice all around. Take your shirt. Oh, a microfiber towel, you got it. I ain't got one right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down real quick. Cool. Okay. Little old beat and stop first. All right, guys, well, one thing I got left is a tool. So here you go. Forge. Forge carbon mirror cap covers along with dynamic turn signals for the LEDs. These are a lot brighter than OEM. They look, they match the taillights, which is kind of cool. And my buddy Greg, who's holding the camera, ordered some for himself and he wanted me to be the guinea pig and install them in front of everybody at this show to make sure that he bought a good purchase. They're only $43 to $47 on Amazon. There's a bunch of different companies. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so you go ahead, help your boy JR14 out. And again, I believe they actually have a 6% discount coupon that we both utilize which brought it from 47 to 43 that's why it was 43 so go ahead and click that link and purchase these for yourself pin alloy will come out with these I'm going to contact them to see if it's possible that I can go ahead and see if he's putting these in production so I can give you guys a link if not make sure you check out jr 14 yt I will make sure when they are available I'll post it up on Instagram and you guys can DM me for questions and concerns as well person of the forged carbon mirror cap covers and the regular ones so here's the one that I took off so you guys can see here so this is the normal style that everyone is accustomed to seeing the carbon fiber I actually went for the forged carbon and then obviously for the mirror the mirror turn signals here's the o here are the OEM ones and here are these the cool thing about these like I said you can see these in the daytime we're at Waterfest 25 so you're gonna see two steps and everything all day 
Then grab third. So I'm gonna give you a side by side comparison. I put the hazards on so you can see the difference in the, the light that you can see in the daytime with this and the other side. So let's go ahead. You see this side right here? You see that turn signal light and bright? It's sunny as hell out today. So we go ahead and go to the other side. As you can see, that turn signal's on, but you can't see the light. Wow, you really can't see the light. <laughs> Getting closer to that. You can't see the light at all. So, during the daytime, these are unaffected. They're, they're, they're not effective for anyone to see, and they don't even go all the way across. You see the main light, that little LED light bulb in there, and it's supposed to illuminate this whole light. So, nah. You can look back at the car here, and you can clearly see that on the other side. So, that's crazy. It don't even look like the other side is on, bro. That's crazy. So that's gonna conclude this video of the Forge Carbon Mirror Cap covers. And then also guys, I need you to do three things for me. I need you to like, share, and subscribe to JL14. Then after you generously have done those three things, I need you to go to the main page. There's a subscribe button. Make sure you click that and just do one more little bit of effort. Right next to that is a notification bell so you can get post notifications on videos that I post up every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And if I'm feeling cheery, I usually put out a bonus video on Fridays. So without further ado guys, this is gonna conclude this video of JR14. But you guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.